Everything that I'm doing here is just simply twisting the channel knob or pressing a button. The last part of the display I want to go over is the signal strength meter here at the bottom between low and high. You'll notice that the radio is not actually receiving anything at the moment, hence I'll turn the volume up and all you'll hear is normal atmospheric static. And you won't see any signal strength indication. I'm going to switch to lower frequency channels and you'll notice that there'll be a much greater increase in natural atmospheric noise or static. And you'll notice probably this display will start to show one segment. Don't worry about exactly what we're going to talk about now. Just monitor this display and listen to the static. The volume control will be set at the same level no matter what channel I'm at. Here's 12 megahertz. Here's 8. Here is 6. And here is 4. You'll notice that 4, we have one segment lit up. At 8, we have nothing. 12, nothing. 16, nothing. 18, nothing. And you'll notice how quiet it is now. 22. I'm going to retune the antenna just to make sure we're not out of tune here. As we go lower in frequency, here I actually have two segments lit up. That's actually probably not, not atmospheric noise. That's actually some local land-based noise. Remember I am still tied to the dock. Turning the volume down now so I don't have to shout over it. I'm just going to go through the channels now clicking up and down just so you can notice that the signal strength reading changes. Four, six, eight and I'm going to retune here as well just to make sure I have the maximum signal getting into the radio so I can show you any displays. You'll notice a little flickering occasionally that's some land based noise there as well I'm going to go to a different 8 megahertz channel and have you notice the difference there's 824 and there's 830 that difference right there in noise between 824 and 830, that difference is noise generated on shore. That's radio interference generated from the shore, not from my vessel. I currently have my solar panels and solar regulator going. No noticeable radio frequency interference from that as well. We'll talk about RFI, radio frequency interference, in another video. Don't worry. There is a chance of a shower this evening and then part of the cloudy in mid-70s. Sun and clouds with a don't forget, this can also be used to monitor not just maritime, ham radio, shortwave, aviation, as well as your local AM radio station. This one happens to be out of West Palm Beach and is quite strong. I'm Gary Best in the 850 WFTL Weather Center. Excuse me, Fort Lauderdale FTL. My mistake. It's about uh, 80 miles from me. I'm just going to briefly go through a few channels here. Nothing for you to be concerned about as to exactly what I'm doing. I just want you to listen to a few different signals just so you get an idea of what's available and what you might happen to be listening to as you tune around. This right here is a facsimile transmission from the U.S. Coast Guard station November Mike Fox, which is out of Boston, Massachusetts. This is their 12 megahertz November Mike Fox facsimile broadcast. I know it sounds terrible. Aerodrome forecast for the period ending 2300 Zulu. This is called aircraft volmet weather. These are long range uh, broadcasts. This one is actually probably out of New York or uh, Gander. 
This covers most of the northeastern United States uh, international airports with their uh, current weather information. Just something that you might come across. Visibility more than six. Ceiling one zero thousand broken zero at six. Visibility more than six. Light rain. Ceiling four thousand overcast. St. Louis from one two zero zero Zulu. Wind one six zero at five. Visible. Just happened to be tuning around one of the ham radio bands and came across a couple of guys talking here. Talking about nothing in particular. This happens to be the Maritime Mobile Service Net. Or excuse me, this is actually the intercom net that precedes the Maritime Mobile Service Net. I am actually making a video, so please give your call sign. This is KA4WJA Marine Mobile. Hello, Alpha 4. Which is unit Alpha Mobile? This is 6 Yankee 5 Romeo Papa. Over. Yes, good morning, Rooney. I'm uh, making a video for uh, HF Communications for boats, so I just wanted to get in here and say good morning. I heard your uh, very nice voice down there in Jamaica. I was just wondering how the weather is for you. Over. sounds wonderful. Of course, we've got about the same weather here. It's a little warmer here in South Florida, but uh, a beautiful sunshine. I think it's going to be about 88 degrees Fahrenheit today. Anyway, I don't want to hold the net up, and I uh, was having trouble copying net control as well. He probably wasn't copying me. So I'll say a good morning and 73 to you, and thank you very much for participating in this very short video. Over. Oh, it's my pleasure, John, and I have no doubt that the net control will copy you now in the clear, my friend. Now that's day.